An executive from one of the largest unions in the country is expressing concern about the impact of crime on our tourism product and the potential long-term impact of employment numbers. Our firm Kerry has more on that. Hotel Union Executive Darren Woods expressing concern about the potential damaging effect of rising crime on the country's tourism product, citing the recent U.S. Embassy advisory following the alleged sexual attack on a tourist, Woods appealed to all Bahamians and, in particular, persons working in the tourism industry to do all they can to protect the tourism product. A couple of uh, a post on Facebook where persons were actually telling people not and from the cruise ships are not to get off in at the port of Nassau. Um, the U.S. Embassy is issuing travel alerts. Um, so um, I could feel the pain because we right in the in the midst of it, and we don't want a situation where our tourism industry, um, where the, where the, the um, tourists begin to stop coming. You know, because we had a little tip of that when we had the 9-11, and that wasn't something that was pleasant at all. And I want to encourage our person, personnel in the tourism industry, continue to work. Continue to do your best for the tourists. In addition, the union's general secretary indicated that more needs to be done to improve the labor climate in the country. Uh, we are not pleased with, with, with what has transpired over, the, over the, the past 12 months and even before that. But um, we've gotten some assistance from the, the Minister of Labor and the government uh, in one aspect where they ensure that the validity of the Hotel Workers Union um, is intact. And then, of course, you still have some persons who are even challenging what the government did. But um, as it relates to our relationship between us and the Employers Association, that is something that we definitely have to fix going forward. We have to find ways to coexist because we're all supposed to be working for the same common goal. He noted that the hotel union will continue working to uphold the constitutional rights of its members. It's with a lot of challenges uh, and it may seem as if we were unable to get our, our thrust, the things that we wanted to do for our membership, because we were actually um, faced with kind of trying to stabilize the union and ensure that the hotel workers union continue to exist. And, you know, for, 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 for the most part, a lot of people may not understand the, the severity of what we were trying to do. But um, going forward, and, and, and you know, we have, we, we have yet to have our executive meeting because, of course, the year has just started. And one of the things that we are looking at is see how best we can try to get some of the plans that we want to do for our membership done this year. Fern Carey. Saturday Night Network News.